What's going on guys, it's Raymond here. Now in this container right here is a black widow spider. One of the most venomous and feared spiders throughout the United States. Now today we're gonna be going over everything you need to know about this spider, while also getting the spider out of the container to see how close we can get. Now, one thing you gotta pay attention for, I have to flip over so many big rocks, so many big logs, I have to watch out for snakes. Uh, most of the snakes around here, of course, are non-venomous, but I have to beware of especially copperheads when flipping over big rocks, just like that one down there. Looks like we got a rat snake. Ah, oh, big one too. Look at him, beautiful. I'll let him go, because I'm not looking for snakes, I'm looking for spiders. Black Widow Spider. That right there is the most venomous spider in the United States. Oh my goodness. All right guys, well right here in this container is the famous Black Widow Spider. The most venomous and probably the most feared spider throughout the entire United States. Now looking back on the footage, you're gonna see I caught this spider under a large rock. And areas like that are exactly where you're gonna find Black Widow Spiders. They love really dark and hidden away places. So places under large rocks, logs, wood piles, things along those lines are where you're going to find Black Widow Spiders. Now this spider right here is the Northern Black Widow. The way that I can tell that it is a northern black widow is that the hourglass on the bottom doesn't fully connect and it has the extra red dots on top of the abdomen now i know you're all wanting to see the hourglass on the bottom of the abdomen so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a stick and get the black widow out so we can get a better look at it as you can see she's just curled up into a little ball now black widows i see this all the time when i catch them they love to play dead i mean this is definitely the largest black widow spider I have ever seen. Most of the black widows I come out here to catch are only about half the size. She is now. Let's see how close I can get that finger. And now you can see the black widow spider is not aggressive at all. Contrary to some of the wives tales out there, these spiders are not out to bite you. Now I came across five different black widow spiders today and she was definitely the largest and I knew I had to get her up close for the cameras. Now this is a female black widow. And when it comes to telling the gender of a black widow spider, it's about as easy as it gets. Males aren't even black, they're about half the size of a female black widow. And of course they don't have the red hourglass on the bottom. Well guys, I tried my absolute best, but she just does not want to stay on the stick. She feels really safe inside the container. That's where she started to spin a web, so she's probably thinking that this is her home for now, and that's where she feels comfortable. Now a common nickname for the Black Widow Spider is Lady Death. And if you know anything about these spiders, you know that's because after they're done mating, they consume the male. It's pretty similar to the way that praying mantises mate, but when you think about it, it's not too good if you're a male black widow. Now the black widow spider is probably the most feared spider in the United States. They do get a pretty bad rep, as I'm sure a lot of you have heard the old wives tale that a bite from a black widow will automatically kill you. But truth be told, this is the most venomous spider in the United States, but a bite from a black widow is most likely not going to kill you. There has not been one reported death from a black widow in the last 20 years. But that doesn't mean a bite from one of these spiders isn't bad at all. They possess a neurotoxic venom, which means that when you're bitten by one of these spiders, their venom is directly going to attack your nervous system, which means that your brain's gonna be telling your body you are in a lot of pain. Black Widow bites are known for being extremely painful. Some of the symptoms you might get with a Black Widow bite, you'll have abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting as possible, back pain, your joints are gonna ache, you can get a headache, basically all the worst symptoms of a sickness you're gonna experience with a Black Widow bite. Now the venom of a Black Widow has been proven to be around 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. And I know when you hear that, you're probably saying, well, 
Shouldn't a black widow bite automatically kill you then? But it all comes down to venom yield. When you're bitten by one of these black widows, you're getting a very minute amount of venom compared to a rattlesnake. Now, as you can see on the spider, the abdomen is huge. But looking at the legs, they're very skinny and the fangs are even smaller. So even though their venom is more potent than that of a rattlesnake, that does not make them any deadlier. Now, believe it or not, black widows are actually fairly common throughout most of the United States. I mean, right now, I'm probably only about a mile away from my house and I've already seen five black widow spiders while out here today. Like I touched on earlier, black widows love to be hidden away. So unless you're going around flipping over flat rocks and big logs, your chances of running into a black widow are incredibly slim. This is definitely not a spider you're going to see crawling around on your living room wall, which I know will definitely put a lot of you at ease out there. Now another cool fact about the black widow is that they have the second strongest webbing on the planet. The webbing of a black widow is around five times stronger than that of steel, which is just insane insane to think about. Now believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever featured a venomous animal on my channel. And I don't see any better way to introduce a venomous animal than with a black widow spider. Now, I hope those of you out there with arachnophobia took note, this spider was not out to bite me. No matter how much I was trying to get it to stay on the stick, all she wanted to do was go back in this container where she felt safe. Now I hope all of you out there learned something pretty cool about the spider today. But that is going to wrap up today's video. But before you go, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you think about this cool spider and most importantly subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller and I'll see you on the next video. All right time to let the spider go.